it shows what a great support uh, we, we get from the community here by just all the people that we work with showing up on a day like today. And, you know, this day doesn't happen unless everybody in this room isn't helping us. Um, whether it's our staff here or our people in the community or the clients, it's a combination of everybody. It's, it's never just one person or just a couple. It's this whole room. You know, if I go around the room and see the people in this room and acknowledge, you know, every single person in this room has a role, you know, Rebecca, the mayor, the chief, Judge Lacanto, Mark, Susan Buckholz, Tara, Jay, both Jackies, you know, <laughs> Clara, you know, Clarabelle, Tom Wilson, everybody in this room, if I go around the back with Fran Pasegna, who's, you know, my counterpart in Worcester, and Vinnie Lorente from OCC, and Diane and Danny, my, you know, our staff, which is Pat Raymond, and Dennis Al, and Laurie, and of course, Joyce, and Margaret, and there's a couple people on training today, Mary and Carrie, Sal, Deputy Reeves, Marty, everybody, Betsy, Dee, everybody in this room is, is a good friend of ours, and we couldn't do what we're doing today without you guys, and I want everybody to realize that that's how important, and we realize that, and you know, we're always out there trying to be good partners with people and trying to give back to the community. Um, you know, one of the things that when we moved over here I was concerned about was we moved out of the neighborhood, and I thought to myself, we always would have all these random people popping in, even if it was just to, to go to detox or something, or looking for a code, or looking for bus tickets, or food, or something, and you know, we enjoy helping them, helping everybody. And I thought, oh my God, we're gonna go over here, and no one's gonna know who we are, and all these, and they all found us somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good, I, I was worried about that. I mean, I, I, I wanna be, we wanna, we wanna be as a team, as an organization, and the sheriff, you know, he, he and, and Deputy Barbara, they're a big supporter of us. And, you know, I believe, you know, we work hard here because of guys like this who are, again, they're tireless. They're out there, and, you know, you, you always want to work as least hard as your boss. I mean, I mean, that's how I feel about it. And, and I believe... I don't work that hard? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and without, you know, support from the, the courts, whether it's Fitchburg or Gardner or, or Clinton or... Lemonster, of course, we, you know, this, this, this whole community, and I'm talking about from Lemonster all the way up to Orange, we, we try to be out there and doing what we can for everybody. And I, and I want to make sure that everybody realizes how important they are to us. And every day, you know, I think about you guys, and, and I really appreciate your help and, you know, the, the, the wonderful people that I deal with on a daily basis. I know Susan said to me, what did you say about a month ago with that quote? I, I don't want to steal your quote. <laughs> Yeah, no, I had it written on my desk, but then I left it in there. <laughs> About how people come into how, how people come into programs like this, taking and, and, and needing things. Oh, I know. Yeah, about how we don't always realize how much we get from them. Yes. And often it's more. Exactly. We take away more than we give them. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> So I just wanted to say again, thank you, and um, I appreciate everybody showing up today. And you know, these, you know, only four. Well, I shouldn't say only four of the uh, graduates showed up. But, you know, we have ten, but some of them are working. Some of them are at their own kids' graduations today. Um, these guys had to kind of deal with a lot. They had to deal with the transition of the buildings. You know, Alberto, he was in both buildings. You know, uh, these guys in the front. I don't, I don't think a friend. Uh, were you at the other building? Yeah. So these guys never even saw the. You know. But, you know, it, was, it wasn't easy. We had to switch buildings. We had some staff move to Worcester. So, you know, they, they fought through this. And again, like, they, they continue to fight. The people in our program, they're always fighting. And they're always trying to strive to get better. And, and our goal is to, you know, help them think a little differently and make good choices. And obviously, those good choices lead to being clean and sober. And that's our goal. And, you know, make, her, you know, make the community stronger. So that's it. And I want to introduce the sheriff. Thank you, Mark. And I, um, well, I have a lot I'd like to say today. I'll try not to be too long-winded. I'll try. Um, but I'll tell you what. I remember when I got elected about eight years ago now. You know, it was a long time. And I remember getting acquainted with these community correction centers. And I really wasn't intimately familiar with what each of them did. And when I got acquainted with them, I was kind of blown away by what was going on in these centers and how much potential there was to do more. It really is the future of corrections, if you think about it. We want to keep people in their homes, in their communities, if they earn the right to be in their homes and in their communities. If not, we'll take them off the street because that's who we are. 
but our goal is to utilize these centers as well as possible. And I want you to know, it became pretty clear to me, pretty evident to me early on that this center, not only is it a special place, is it a place that was functioning at a very high level, I think I can make a pretty clear argument, it might be the best community correction center in all of Massachusetts, right here in Fitchburg. But I can say, you know, give me just another round of applause, you guys make it happen. But I can tell you it didn't have, it was not situated in a place that was indicative of the work that was being done. It was just a matter of just space and conditions. And I thought we deserved better. And I knew, we, that's what makes today an extraordinary event for us, because this center is special. Everyone who's been in here knows that. The people that work here know that. And don't ever forget that it is called a community correction center. And the folks on our team and our community partners, they get this. We are here to serve this community. We love this community. And we want to help those people who are willing to help themselves. That's the whole game. We don't coddle people. We don't oh, babysit people. We want to help people. But the only way to help it is to help yourself, to say, I'm ready. And I'll before I get into a couple thank yous, I want to tell you one quick story. I used to say it all the graduations inside the jail. For years I said this, I used to tell people, I'd start off my speech and say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be here with you all, and I said, I, I, I would like to state I never want to see you again. You know, and I'd say it kind of tongue in cheek, you know, people would laugh a little bit, and I realized after a while, that's not the tone of what I meant. You know, what I meant was that I don't want to see you back in prison. But it's not what I really meant, and what I reflected on, and what I want to say today to you, as well as to those inmates that I speak to on a regular basis in there, is that I do look forward to seeing you again, but I went to talk to sheriffs when I first got elected and I asked them about the community and any, any concerns they had being in the community. I'm around every day, all over, by myself a lot of the time. And they said to me, one sheriff said to me, Sheriff, you have nothing to worry about whatsoever because the people who are not doing well, the people who are not doing well, the people that have relapsed, the people who are committing crimes, they don't, they're not proud of themselves. They don't wanna see you they're walking away from you. People want to see you, come up to you and tell you how proud they are of themselves. They ask you if you remember them. They want to talk to you. I want you to know, I've never heard anything more true than that. I, almost a daily occurrence, I walk around, whether it be Fitchburg, or Worcester, or Southbridge, or Holden, or Paxton, you name these 60 towns we've got, and all of us do this every day. I can't tell you how much it means to me to stand in this community, have someone come up to me almost on a daily basis and say, Sheriff, do you remember me? I was in your community correction center. I was in your, your uh, stop program. I was in a facility at the jail. And sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't, but it's always the same story. I just want to tell you how appreciative I am. That program saved my life. The folks that worked there made a difference. I'm doing great. So my message to you today is I do want to see you again. I look forward to seeing you again. I look forward to seeing you out there when you're coming up and telling me how well you're doing. That's what this is all about. So today is a really special day and I have to Thank so many people, but I just want to uh, first off start off by when I got in and we had our team assembled, we knew that the facility needed to be upgraded and we knew that the people who work here so hard deserve better. And there was one person I basically asked to help me in that mission and this person just took it and ran with it. And we had a lot of other help, but I have to let you know it's amazing to have someone on your team who you can delegate such an important task to and literally just got the job done. That Deputy Reeves right there, my assistant superintendent, Jay Reeves. Please, uh, round of applause. Really applause. Really applause. I mean, that's really what happened. The team got together, we dedicated ourselves, we made it happen, and through Deputy Barber and Mark and the folks you recognize to work here with you, this is a special place, and I'm not gonna get redundant over it because you know, you're in this room and you know it, but I, it does bear repeating how incredible this place is and how fortunate we are to have this day like we have today with these graduates. And I'm here today personally to tell you congratulations. We're so proud of you. Uh, this is like, not to be a cliche, but this is not the end. You know this is just the beginning of a continuation of that road you're on and we're all pulling for you. And I know addiction and sometimes you know dealing with recovery, you feel lonely and you've been through some dark, troubled times. You probably felt completely alone in the world. And I want you to know, remember this day. Remember this community. Remember these people who are here. They are 150% behind you. We are pulling for you with all we've got. But it's going to be up to you to ultimately make it. But I want you to know you're not alone. Just think of these folks, never mind the loved ones and others who aren't here with us today. So with that being said, um, I, I, we're joined by Betsy Dagnall, who's out there. We're glad to have her with us. I've got some great people. Here, I'd like to introduce who are tremendous partners. I assure you that 